Hi, so good to see you. Join us for a heart-to-heart -heart chat about a life guided by joy, peace and compassion. We are Vegan Heart to Heart. You vegans are wasting your time. No one will ever listen to you. The numbers of vegans are so minuscule, you'll never be able to make a difference. Oh, that thought just makes me sad. Thank goodness I don't believe this to be true. I know so many vegans worldwide and I'm getting to know new ones every day, so I know that the numbers are rising. I wasn't raised vegan either and I was able to change. If I can go vegan, everyone can. I was a real tough case. But the world will never be 100% vegan. There might also always be war, racism, crime and violence, but that doesn't mean I have to partake in it. I can make kind choices every day. The numbers might be low statistically, but they still represent millions of people who choose to not support the animal exploitation industries. There are more and more reports about the positive health effects of a plant-based diet. Social media is an incredible platform to spread awareness. Shops offer more and more vegan products and I'm very hopeful that awareness will continue to accelerate. But you're going about it totally wrong. That's why your numbers are so low. If you were advocating differently, you would have more success. The way you are doing it now totally turns people off. Oh really? How would you go about doing it? Please let me know. I want to be as effective as possible in speaking up for the animals and I really don't want to turn people off. What would it take for you to stop buying animal products? You should share more facts instead of being all irrational, emotional and stuff. What kind of facts would convince you to listen to the vegan message? I don't know, I gotta go now anyway, but you're doing it all wrong. Different things work for different people. I can only go by my own experience. I know what worked to get my mind to open up and change. There are as many ways to advocate for veganism as there are vegan advocates out there. But nothing they do works for me, it's all ridiculous what you guys are doing. For many years I was in denial and I did not want to hear the vegan message. I just wanted to eat my meat and cheese in peace without those fanatics telling me what to do. I don't think any approach would have worked for me at the time. I had an excuse and a defense ready for every single point vegan advocates brought up. I do that too, gee that's uncomfortable hearing you talk about it. I totally understand. Now that I'm on the other side and can see where they were coming from, I feel so silly and I can see that I basically defended animal abuse by working against vegans all these years. Their message is, if we could live healthily, happily and deliciously without causing intentional harm to another being, why wouldn't we? And I basically responded, I don't care, you guys suck, you guys are wrong, leave me alone, don't tell me what to eat, you have no right to tell me how to live my life, I don't want to know where my meat and cheese comes from and what happens to the animals. So I kept buying animal products and therefore kept funding the animal exploitation industries, sending the message that they should continue doing the bloody work they are doing. I think that awakening to the message of veganism takes a mind that is ready to receive the message, a mind that starts questioning the status quo. That's just stupid, such a bunch of bull. It just doesn't make sense what you guys are doing. Once we realize that we have been raised in a system which systematically deceives the natural compassion out of us by hiding the truth about where our food comes from, by hiding its victims and by spreading myths about how we need to eat animals and their secretions, we want to find out all the ways in which we have been deceived and can come back to our natural compassion and wisdom. Rubbish, speak for yourself. If you had known as a child that you were eating the cut up corpses of the animals you adored in your favorite TV shows, had printed on your bedsheets, pajamas and posters on the wall, would you have continued to eat them? Gee, you are annoying. I guess not. I hate it when you make sense. What would it take for you now to stop buying animal products and to buy delicious and nutritious plant foods instead? Thanks for watching. For more episodes, please subscribe, like the video and follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Compassionate listening and education goes a long way. Don't forget to be the vegan you wish you had met before you went vegan.